The attention to detail and the passion and the love for this brand that the team has is astonishing. Our team is so excited to take all of the love that they put into this as fans and give it to fans. This is the game that they've dreamed of for 20 years. The lore of the Wizarding World is already so rich, and all we had to do was harness those elements and build a game out of it. The movies, the books, they all touched me in such a way. Like, it makes me want to go to experience Hogwarts. It makes me put in so much more detail into this game. We really want to make sure that anything we add or anything we play with or anything that we explore really feels authentic. Bringing to life just the charm and the love of everything we have for the books and then marrying that with the iconic experiences from the movies that fans will recognize is really just the perfect handshake between the two. Just the discovery of like seeing things portrayed for the first time, maybe they've read something and had a picture in their head the whole time, but then finally to get to touch it, to walk around it. You've got all of these elements that can come together to create this amazing AAA open world action RPG. When it comes to the open world, it's just we just knew it wasn't gonna be enough to just stare out of the windows of Hogwarts and wonder what it's like out there. But the final question that fans ask is what's beyond that? What's beyond the Forbidden Forest? What's gonna be beyond Hogsmeade? What's beyond the Black Lake if I start traveling south? And we just felt like we had to answer those questions. <laughs> We were creating a real wide palette of opportunities and ways to explore the world. You're gonna see different stories that are really exclusive to who you were in the world. Hogwarts Legacy is an original story that takes place in the late 1800s. You are a new student who is starting at the famed School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year, which is very unusual. So already there's a bit of an edge and a bit of a mystery. The original story that we tell in the game is your story of what you did you know, in the Wizarding World that you haven't seen before. Or make our own magic with our story we're trying to tell. Fans are familiar with the Wizarding World from, you know, the 1900s and on, really. But now, with this world, we're able to sort of create a space that's their own. Fans of the series will know that ancient magic has been around for a long time, to say the least, and that Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. And the Avatar, the player, has the ability to sense it and possibly wield it or control it. Our process of development started with rereading the books. And over development, we reread the books many times. Every time we'd start with a new feature, we'd dig into that. And then beyond, we would go into the films. Being able to put our own spin on what this universe is was a pretty big deal. I helped design a piece that nobody has ever seen before, the Hufflepuff common room. You know, as a Hufflepuff, you always wondered, like, what, what is my common room supposed to look like? It's close enough to the world that we know that fans will recognize certain names, they'll recognize spells, they'll recognize certain locations. I recognize that doorway, I recognize that classroom. But mostly, it's gonna be an entirely new wizarding world that no one's ever experienced. When people engage in the Wizarding World, what's the one anchor? Like, what's the thing that everyone comes back to? What's the thing that grounds it all and grounds all these characters and grounds all these figures? And for us, we really felt like that answer was Hogwarts itself. That school, that famous school of witchcraft and wizardry, is really what binds it all. How to bring Hogwarts to life, that was a very big challenge because, as everybody knows, Hogwarts is huge. Now we need to know exactly how this passage connects to this passage for a game, because you're gonna have to walk it. And of course, again, the Sentient Castle, it's, it's got new surprises up its sleeves. It likes to keep its students on its toes. We've put so many little secrets and passageways and rooms in this castle. We recreate those very important locations, and then there's these other places that are only mentioned in the books or just alluded to, and we have to make the connective tissue that brings all that together. Having a world that is a breathing, living world is very 
hard to do because it's all about the details. And as a concept team, we really got into those details and studied history, studied architecture. I hope that when fans play the game, they get as lost in it as I do. I can just be reviewing a side mission and all of a sudden I find myself wandering Hogwarts for like 45 minutes because it's so beautiful. The community is absolutely going to love Hogwarts Legacy. It's going to be so fun. Get that letter to Hogwarts and go to Hogwarts. We're so excited for people to come to this, to inhabit it, to actually enter the Hogwarts that we built. This is your Hogwarts Legacy.